rich dumb I make art and you make the guess on Put me on the feature, I'll make the guess song You make a hard, you have to guess on What I do next, be your guess, be wrong Cause I ain't gonna flex like a bar for bar And I live for my chest, my ass is up next So why don't you tell me who's the greatest of this generation I don't mean to talk Hello everyone, my name is Dino And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 If you like this video, give it a like If you are new, subscribe to join the Dino Nation And let's begin With your constant oh, complainers. Hey. I ain't complaining. You are! Complain, complain, complain! I ain't complaining, Arthur. I'm just saying. You're not saying, hey, miss. Don't. You're shouting! Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down or you're gonna be missing a hand, lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <gasps> Enough, both of you. <sighs> well, come with me then. If you want to head out there, run with the man, so be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Adler are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that bag. We got work to do. Yep. Ah, ah! All right, then. Hmm. Diana's told me. Okay. Here we are. 
So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. How do you do, sir? I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. Ha! So, you get everything? I think so. And some... New clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I oh, shared all the home. work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? Go! Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Go! You wait till I get the What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us! New pair of pants, and you think you're landing rickets? Oh, shit! I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down! <laughs> Some action, lady. Now you got your wish. <laughs> you okay there, Sadie? Of course. You think I can't handle these fools? Ah! Ah! Told you I could shoot a gun, didn't I? I don't remember asking you to prove it. There, see? Not many still standing. Lady, you are enjoying this far too much. Yeah, you oh. I think we're good.
shoot here, Arthur. Not shooting. All right, I'll drive us back. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful now. Yeah. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. Not a chance. Yeah. Killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Yeah. Easy, whoa. <laughs> Easy there. Mr. Morgan, I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or oh, my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this. From one of those awful men. You should have it. You know, thank you. 
but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Well, here we are, Tilly. Uh, the, the master. Uh, hey, I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it near camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. Here, got a hold of the harmonica for you. Look forward to hearing you play. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Huh, fair enough. But thank you. This is real kind of you. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lie. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, Better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long, old Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Isaiah. Let's go fish. Come on, then. In front of you. Go on! Yeah, asking you, why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. 
but start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. That's... We've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Well, well, look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Yeah. What are you waiting for? I'm right here! Woo ah. Idiot! Now get after the others. Come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Come on, get to the side of that train! Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Now he's throwing bottles. The low down. You uh, cop bastards. Uh, I didn't do nothing. Uh, go to hell. Damn fool. Run. Don't let them get away. You hold it right there. Hello? 
Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? We take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir, I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Yep. yep okay, down. this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard 
about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Things is bad for old Joe. He don't even have a tail feather left. Uh-huh. Hi, uh, folks. Morning to you. You better don't ask worry, him I'm just playing with you. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Idiot. Hey there! Howdy. So how far is this creek? A bit of a ride still. Oh, Get up oh. here, Arthur! Oh, you decided to join us again. What were you drawing about before? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Pimbuck too? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> Very funny. So what Trelawney said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you. I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. That's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he is. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Coming past. Yeah, okay. Get him. Hold. 
I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. There, girl. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh. Oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Keep going. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Archer. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Arthur's got a bite. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Maybe if you caught a fish, we'd stop teasing you. Got him? You got a bite. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Now reel him in, Arthur. I got a bite. There we go. Shit. Got away. <laughs> hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckons. <laughs> I would like to see that. Ha! Got ya! Damn it, I lost him. There he is. Hey, Hosea. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, you do. He was maybe 20, 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish? Or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. That's on the hook, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. 
real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. There you go. That's a nice one. Got one. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Fish on the line, Arthur. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. You got a bite there, Arthur. Just got to reel him in now, Arthur. You're getting the hang of this. Yeah, that's a keeper. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. Nice, you hooked him.
Nicely done, Arthur. Not worth keeping that one. You got something biting, Arthur. You hooked him! Good job, Arthur. Deep in that one, eh? Not bad, Arthur. That'll grill up nice. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that girl to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we need three four mariners to leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Maiden is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round 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 round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain. 
To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back at camp think that we had too much fun. Indeed not. I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Ha! Herr Morgan! Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here? Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside, all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. We saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yeah. All right, let's do this. Yeah. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, 
What were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. You never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for it. Better be worth it. All right. That left away. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Whoa. <laughs> Let's leave the horses here and go the rest on foot. Don't want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right, right here. It's up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Ah. 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 They're coming out. Look! 
Look out on the right! Still got far inside! Come out with your hands up! Nice and easy! You saw what we did to your pals here! Okay, okay, I give up! Don't shoot! I ain't armed! If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here, and don't look back. Here we are. We got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we'd take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Go. So far by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right. Don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got a few other places out there like this. I was in the army. Giddy up. Partner. Hey, brother. Hey, mister. Hey, mister come on. Arthur. Move it. Why are you always so mad? You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. <laughs> he once beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? I'm talking to you, so I must be crazy. I fought in a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. Which war was that exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I... I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get... I get funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. Yeah. Well, hey there. What do you think? It turned out pretty nice, didn't it? Time for me to move on, though. Just sold it to a farmer moving up here from the south. Good for you. So can I have my money now? Of course, not a problem. We managed to drum some together. Here you are, as promised, and with interest. Hey, what are you doing? What's your problem? You stay out of trouble now. Heh, <laughs> with my luck, we'll see.
Wynn Holmes? I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, wow. well, that this I'm whole thing sure. was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I am I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee we pay them. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. I gotta squeeze you like a lemon. It's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. See her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. 
Your man ain't coming. You all right, girl? seen some posters. What can I do for you? Hello, mister. Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. Well, anyway. Yeah, but you... They're saying that, yeah. Man, you ought to get out of here, and you ought to stop coming back.
Still don't look quite right. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> Okay, you head on in the church. I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off. And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't, don't want to. Don't be fuss. shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long past <sighs> prudishness. It's disrespectful. You'd rather disrespect the living, <gasps> breathing just... woman you got here in front of you? Can't we just get married like normal folks? Married? Don't be goopy. I don't know what to say to you. <sighs> You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, look, we're closed for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This feller. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard! Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? 
You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you back. Ah, let's. Oh, mister. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. Looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here. Or someone see. Can't believe it's come to this. It's me. You're alive. Good. Yeah. Whoa. Evening. Mind if I sit a minute? Mm. Oh, Lord, mm. Real bad nerves. I can't work. Can you give me some money? Hello, mister. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again, friend. I've only gone and forgotten your name. But worse than that, I've forgotten my own name, too. It happens to me. You ever forget your name, mister? Move out the way. Sure. See? We're made for each other. I mean, as friends. I knew it. There's a big crazy fella with a gun. And I'm a little crazy fella. Can't afford a gun no more. Stick with him, Jimmy, I said. 
And then I, I said, your name ain't Jimmy, it's Mickey. And then the fella I was talking to in my head, even he didn't want to talk to me no more. I'll see you around. I've gotten real confused. Okay, then. Mr. Mason? Oh, oh, Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite, quite. Oh, oh! Ah, damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know. I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. Is a pretty pickle. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage, grease paint, tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals, and no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Yep. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals, they escaped, and now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. 
If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard's Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Yeah. Drives better not rub off on my pants. Yeah. a donkey, idiot! Him, our zebra. <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth, they only pay for deception. The allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning? There, in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. Come on.
Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't it? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. I got the trail. These are paw prints. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like black blood to me. Shit, what's this? Oh, darn. I found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took them. Oh, that'd be stripy. And I always thought they got along. Wait, your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <laughs> the other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. Grubs <clears throat> up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Shut it. Oh. Well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, thinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this rack? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman 
animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. Depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out? Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go, whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. Oh, there it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Margaret, Mr. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a car barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. all this commotion. There an animal on the loose? Sure is. They got it trapped in the barn there. Thank you. Holy time! We got them trapped in here! What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this.
shit! Just returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. A man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I <laughs> a knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand. And they feel the roar. And they... Well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Rama, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! <laughs> You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado. As green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. All in good time. Hey, you got anything for me? Looking for a special something for a special someone? As long as you have the items I need. I won't ask too many questions. All right, what do you have for me?
Thanks for watching make sure to subscribe turn on notifications to join my fan base Dino Nation and make sure to smash that like button too and I'll see you in the next video goodbye.